are you a right fit for the UN? Is the UN the right match for you? So you may wonder why we included this slide, because naturally I assume that everyone who's on the call today um, either is interested in a career at the UN or has an interest at least uh, in the work of the UN. So the reason why we included this slide is because me and my UN insiders often get asked, um, especially by students, um, what shall I study? You know, what, um, what field should I specialize in? And I personally, I always struggle with, um, with my reply. And I always reply by, by sharing my own story and my own, a little bit of my background. So, um, I've studied economics and business law and ended up in one of the most technical UN organizations that are probably out there, um, working side by side, um, with, um, nuclear scientists. So the point I want to make here, which is really also my, my very first advice, um, on how to land a job at the UN is really find something you enjoy, find something, um, find a field, find a topic of studies, um, you are, you're passionate about. Um, it's, in general, I would say if you are naturally good into something, if you find um, a specialization or a topic that you have a drive for, you automatically have an advantage at the application process and at the interview. Um, there is certainly also maybe um, I shared it right at the beginning, there's certainly no golden rule or guarantee that if you study a certain um, topic or if you go on a field mission, that you actually um, will have will land a job at the UN. So there, there is no guarantee. So you may wonder um, if, if the study or the field you specialized in is not um, so important. Um, what is important for landing a job at the UN? And my um, what, what we've learned or what we identified is really what's important are skills and competencies.